Y- you, you and me either. You and me both. <laughs> I think you should be kicked out. So, geometry, Monday, the 18th of this fine month of November. Discuss test. We did that. SWBA, students will be able to ID, identify relationships between lines and angles, section 4.1, okay? Maybe do section 4.1 here. We're going to first start off with a little bit of review. Okay, we're going to start off with a little bit of review. Okay, you line. So, with our bit of review here. A plane contains a finite number of lines. Plane, that's where everything goes in. Lines, rays, points, okay? Segments. We're saying a plane contains a finite number of lines. Finite means it's limited. That's saying true or false. At some point, a plane gets too full, you can't put anything else in it. Is that true or false? False. It's false, okay? A plane is infinite. A plane is infinitely long in every direction, so there's no such limit. It's not like, oh, you can put in 499 lines, but as soon as you put in the 500th, nope, you can't do it anymore. No, you can just put however many you want in there, okay? It's not like somebody's sitting there with a the counter saying, oh, we're full today. What was that? Nothing. No, what? No, nothing. I'm Okay. I prefer when you're McKinsey, but okay. Two points lying on the same plane are coplanar. Is that big facts or big lies? Two Wait, points. Facts. Two points lying on the same plane are coplanar. <sighs> That's big facts, okay? That's what coplanar means. That they're on the same plane. Okay, co meaning like same or with, okay? Planar plane. True. Two points lying on the same plane. If two distinct planes intersect, they intersect at exactly one line. True. That is true. That is big facts. Yeah. Okay? That's big facts there. Okay? A way we can see that, guys, is let's look at this wall and the ceiling. This wall is a plane. The ceiling is a plane, for example. The intersection of that is the whole seam across here. Okay? So it's a, that line, the whole way across. It's not like it just intersects at like one point. It's the whole way across, okay? Or on this box. Okay, this and this side, okay? These two planes, for example, if we can uh, pretend these are planes, the sides of this box, okay? The intersection is this whole line. It's not like it's just here, or here, or here. It's the whole line, the intersections. Okay? Right. Um, for a, this should really be two blanks. This should really be like two blanks here, okay? A blank Can blank. I get another note packet? I'm going to fill out this blank. Oh, you were saying you didn't do this? I was like, did you do something to it all? Okay. No, I uh, didn't. Yeah. A blank blank consists of two endpoints and all the points between them. A two endpoints, a line segment. A line segment. A line segment consists of two endpoints and all the points between them. Okay? And I really don't like five, so I'm actually going to cross that out. I realized like, this morning when I was doing my other I was like, oh, I don't like the last one. Okay. I'm not saying I don't like the number five, I don't like this number five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, um, I don't even know what to call that. Three reflex, maybe? Wait, I'll get it. Sorry, eight and three. Okay. Um, so, two lines. Two lines can. I'm just saying, I'm, I would rather have a comeback. Broncos is bad. No. Oh, he's not. So, okay. Two lines can. One, they can intersect at a single point. All three good players have won. They can intersect at a single point, not to be confused with single ladies, like Beyonce, okay? I took a said single lady. Dang it! I wrote lady instead of point. They can intersect at a single point. Dang it. Can you do the dance? I'm not going to I'll let you forget. No, all I know is you know this part, like, you know, that's it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Single ladies? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh no, you do it. You went like this. You were like, oh, that's all I know. I only know this part. Yeah, she like flashes like her hands. It's like it's like this. Oh. Okay, so apparently no, I can't do it. Oh. So no, fun know. fact, my brother, my brother used to work in retail. We worked in this this, this store. He used to come Circuit City down for a time anyway. But back in the days of college, he worked there. And uh, and like that was like right when this song came out. And so like they were playing it all the time in the store. And he's like just hates it so much now. So. Every now and then when I'm around, I'm always playing the song. It just, like, it just makes me so angry. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, these two lines are what? They can be parallel. parallel. They can be parallel, okay? Parallel. Parallel. Like, uh, I always 
Allah Allah. 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 Allah Allah.
Now here's another thing. If I take this line up, up here, with this arm that, and this arm, these don't intersect, do they? No. But they're not in the same plane either. They're not in the same plane. So they're still skewed. So even though they don't run the same direction like these did, they run this direction, they're still skewed because they don't intersect and they aren't in the same plane. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Parallel lines versus skew lines. We're just going to talk about the difference with those briefly, okay? So the first thing is on both of them is that they do not intersect. Parallel lines do not intersect. And neither do skew lines. This, uh, this diagram, okay, that kind of looks like this box, okay, it's like what we used to represent our planes in chapter one as well, okay. So we have like, six different planes going on here, okay. Um, so we're asked to say, okay, what is a line, A, using one, what's a line parallel to line AB here? CD. Okay, I heard GH and her CD, those are both possible answers, okay. I really don't care which one you guys put, okay. Line CD or line GH, you only need one. But they're both possible answers, okay? So line CD or line GH, they both share the plane with AB, okay? And they both do not intersect this, okay? Now, why didn't you guys say EF? Because it's not on the same plane, right? So what would it be instead? Oh, Q, it's Q, very good, okay? So two, a plane parallel to plane EFH, EFH, so it's this bottom plane here. What plane is parallel does not touch that plane? CDB. CDB. And could Grace have used any three letters on this plane in any order to represent it? Yeah. Does that say plane or plane? Ooh, it's supposed to say plane, but it says place. Plane CDB. Yes. Woo! It's a rough one today. It is, it is, it is. Okay, so you could use, use any of the three points, A, B, C, D, to name that plane. As long as there are three points on the plane and not on the same line, we're good. And none of them are on the same line, so we're good. Okay. Wait, so, so it could be like anywhere? On the plane, yeah. So there's like a, like let's just say for green vehicles, there's a point like F here, a point like, uh, F's already on there. A point, um, Z. Yeah, sure, Z, point X. X. And they're all on this top plane here, then you can use those to name them too. We don't oh. care which ones they are, these have to be in the plane or on the plane. And they have to be not all on the same line together. Okay. So, something like that. Um, yeah, and they can be in any order. So, number three, we kind of talked about this already. What's a line skew to line AB? Yeah. Yeah, line EF. We talked about that one already. Okay. Now we're going to skip number four. I realized I didn't like that one either. I'm going to take that one out. So, constantly making adjustments and getting better. Yeah. So, you know, you know how it can be. Okay. Right, Ian? You know it, okay? Five, a pair of parallel plates. We named a pair earlier, but let's name a different pair this time. Somebody have 
uh, a suggestion for a pair of parallel planes to you. Okay, Grace. Okay, I don't know if this is right. Okay. But can GF and AD be parallel? Um, so GF's not a plane, but what is a plane? But like, can't, I'm just asking, can that be like that? Because technically they are. G, there's nothing connecting GF. I know, but like, but are GF and AD connected? Like, it's like dead what, 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 are you talking about if, if there's a yeah. line there? You're saying if there was a line there? Yeah. If there was a line between G and F, would be part of the bottom? Be like here, and if there was a line between A and B, theoretically, it would be like here. So, are they in the same plane? No, no so they'd be skewed. Okay. okay. So, can somebody tell me a pair of parallel planes? We talked about the bottom and the top. Okay. Um, can we do a different pair than what we did earlier? Okay. So, D, F, E, kind of the front here. And plane, what do you say? B H G is kind of the back here. Very good. Okay, so we can kind of do like the front and the back here. Okay. So we on the other sides. Okay. <coughs> can somebody tell me why line F E and line C D are not skewed? Are not They're skewed. the same plane, right? They're, the same, oh. plane. They're the same plane. They're coplanar. Very good. Kind of want to hammer that idea home there. <coughs> oh, I thought you were going to throw up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're not scared. It's like a dollar. Box box? <laughs> it's like a box, and it's got like a bunch of secret keys and like things to unlock it and stuff. So, a lockbox? Okay. What about it? You know what it is, right? Sure. Like if it's like a, like a puzzle, like an escape room kind of thing? Yeah. Oh. Have you seen the houses that are like that? Yeah. Where it's like you get locked when you get locked in the house and there's just all these keys and you can't figure your way out. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I wonder if you know what it is. Yeah. All right. Let's go right below this, okay? Hey, this is one of the, this is one of um the main core concepts from this chapter, okay? Oh my so I just want to kinda of say right here, put a uh, put a mental mark here, okay? This is the main concept from the chapter. This idea of a transversal, okay? This idea of a transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines. Intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points. Okay? A transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines that are coplanar and it intersects at different points. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you guys an example and a non-example. Okay? What's a non-example mean? Bad. Okay. Bad, but not to do, right? Wrong. Okay? Mm. Now you guys probably wouldn't want to be called a non-example, right? Okay. So I'm going to show you guys an example and a non-example here. Okay. I know you to write down things. Um, like, oh, this is how you're supposed to act, and this is how you're not supposed to act. Oh. Don't you just act all the Like the bad way? Is that what you're saying? Isn't that like, yeah. I'm saying you would not want There's to There's some, like, either. trippy stuff about that. Okay. Um. So I call this like take line. development, and it's like some part of the brain where like the like a teenage kid like hears that, and then like something gets like released in the brain that like tempts them to do it. Oh, well, sure. Yeah. Okay. So here we have lines A, B, and C. Which line is intersecting two or more lines there? Line A. So line A is our transversal here. Line A is acting as our transversal. Okay, it's crossing or intersecting these two lines at different points. It intersects one line up here and the other line down here. Okay, so it's intersecting two or more coplanar lines at different points. Okay, now let me show you a non-example. <coughs> Bless you, Western Don't have close to forget. Easy. So uh, we have lines D, E, and F. We have lines D, E, and F there. Okay, I just went and just repeated the alphabet with lower case letters. Um, and the only reason I call it different is that we don't confuse line A. Oh, which line A are we talking about? Yeah, I really could call it. Yeah, I could 
could have gone by Q, X, W for all of them. Okay. Um, why is this a non-example? Can anyone tell me? They all intersect with the same thing. They intersect with the same thing. Okay, and they intersect with the same thing. Oh. So because they only intersect at one point, there's no transversal here. Okay. No dips. Now, what if, what if just like theoretically speaking, okay, I took this line F and I moved it just like the smallest portion off. Well, then it would be a transversal because that intersects at slightly different points. Will it be um? What? Like tell, like you could tell, is it, or do we have to like? Yeah, it'll be obvious. Look? Okay. No, yeah. You won't have to like take like a microscope or a magnifying glass. Why would you do that? <laughs> no, that's oh. not what I meant. I didn't mean that bad. But if it's no. like a tiny little bit above. No, it'll be know? it'll be obvious. Okay. Like, it'll it'll look way more like this on the left than anything else. Okay. So yeah, it'll be it'll be obvious to tell. Oh, these are intersecting. Like oh, and it's at different. It won't be it won't be confusing. That's a good question. Okay, so that's the biggest reason why that this is a non-example here is because it intersects only at one point. There, okay, whereas here line A is a transversal, but B and C are not transversal. They're just on the line. Okay, now we're going to talk about this idea of interior and exterior angles. We're going to talk about this idea of interior and exterior angles. Okay, interior means inside or outside. Inside. Exterior means what then? Outside. Okay. Inside or outside? What? Okay. So we're going to say. Is uh, it's going to be interior angles are going to be between uh, between uh, the two lines that are cut by the transversal. Okay, interior angles are between the two lines that are cut by the transversal. So in this way too colorful of a picture, what line is acting as our transversal? M, yeah, M as in M and M, okay? So, um, or M as in means, okay? Is acting as a transversal. So what are the two lines that are cut by the transversal or intersected by the transversal? K and N, okay? K and N, okay? Um, so these interior angles are going to be inside of these, okay? Between those two. So can somebody give me an example of an interior angle? Okay, angle six would be an interior angle, okay? Emily? Angle, uh, no, angle four, okay? I know it kind of goes in reverse over there, okay? Um, somebody else want to give me an example? There's two more. Five. Two. Two. Four. Okay, uh, did somebody say five? Five. Okay. Angle five, yeah, and then angle two would be our last one, okay? And so we kind of look, look at it. Well, if we're going to call any angles interior here, it, it makes sense that we would be to pick those four angles. So those are between our two lines. Okay, they're kind of guarding it. Okay. So exterior then are going to be outside the two lines that are cut by the transverse. No. You know, I'm actually going to have Melissa on here. Tell that would be God. No, what? what? Did you tell you about that? I just see the Chicago. Please don't. They're cats. They're cats. Yeah, I know. I have a really bad one. Nobody deserves a mole in the city of Well, it kind of is. Like, what city boy has a mole? Oscar? No. No. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna like, If you guys went to like a rodeo, like if City Boys showed up in their white shoes to a rodeo, oh, the Cowboys would literally, they would like pick on them. Yeah. Probably beat you up. All like right. that's just a disrespectful thing. I don't know. Like you don't get a mullet unless you're like a yeehaw. Like that's just not right. I will just make you mad, dude. <laughs> you can yeah. Well, kind of a mullet. You're close enough to get rid of a certain haircut. Okay. Uh, raise your hand if you want to tell me what an exterior is angle is one? here. Emily. Angle one. Kale, give me another example. Angle three. Jillian, give me another example. Angle five. No. Wait, I said I've been. Angle seven. Okay, Taylor, give me another example. Angle eight. Very good. Those would be our four exterior angles. Those would be our four exterior angles, okay? It's cut, I know. 
That's oh, it looks like cat to me. Oh, okay, guys. I get it. I'll change okay, it. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of act like a cat. Is that better? Well, don't don't ever compare me to a cat, please. Why? Cats are the devil, and I'm allergic to No, cat and a cat. I'm allergic to No, cat and a cat. I would have to be done. Like, you would go flying in a little. I would have to do a problem. I bet you could have just as turkey was like, I can't go. Okay, Um, Yeah, I bet you could have just as turkey Hey, guys. So if you guys, uh, I know there's still some more at the bottom of the page. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move to another page where you have this table at. We have this table on one of these pages. I think it's two pages later. Okay. I'm gonna have you go to that page right now with this table. Okay. I'm gonna go to the page with this table. Okay. Is she like Catherine Dumper? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. If she likes cats, would you dump her? I mean, I might not have started dating her, but you know. You oh, what? I said I might not have started dating her. Oh! <laughs> what if she lied to you and then she gets a cat and like hides yeah, in your house? Yeah, like, well, I really don't like cats. And, and you're like, both well, the neighbors has a cat. Time. That's why I'm like getting a large reaction. That's but the actual mean. cat's probably in your bathtub. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh, oh. a cat in the bathtub. Because she's, she's hiding in the bathtub and he's in shower. No, I'm not saying so I don't believe. Okay, anyway. We're at her apartment or whatever. We're at this table. We're at this wow. table. Okay, I know it looks differently on yours. I know it looks differently on yours, okay? Um, and it looks differently on mine, too, okay? The reason it looks like this here is for me to actually be able to fit, like, this whole, like, row on here. I have to spread it out. So this is all the first row. I just had to separate it out. Does that, that make sense? So, yes. we're at, so we're, this is all the first row. Okay. We're going to talk about five different types of angles. Okay. We're going to talk about corresponding right. first. Okay. So what's corresponding? What's that mean? Correspond. You say two things correspond. Uh, they like go together. together. Okay. They go together. Okay. They kind of match up. They're not exactly the same, but they kind of match up. Okay. So they might be a little bit different, but they kind of go together. Okay. So corresponding angles are a very similar thing here. Okay. Corresponding angles are a very similar thing. Okay, so um, we're gonna start off with the description here. We're gonna start off with the description box. Okay, now heads up, guys. Heads up, guys. Actually, I want to heads up, guys. Um, we are going to write four things in this description box. Okay, I'm gonna give you the heads up now, so that we don't write it like super big and we're not room. Well, I wrote it in here. Too. I wrote mine in here too. Okay, if you can do it, I can do it. Here, hey, Your hand, my hand. Exactly. Thank you. Okay? Oh. Chicken scratch. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there is one interior <laughs> and one exterior. So there is one interior angle and one exterior angle. So it's a pair of corresponding angles. One of them is interior, one of them is exterior. So the first thing we need to write. Okay. The second one is that they are on the same side of the transversal. We'll talk about what these mean, but for now, just write it down. The same side of the transversal. Three, they are at the same position. Okay, the same position at the intersection. This last one better be short. Yeah. The last one <laughs> okay, okay, is they are in, they have the same side. Don't write it down there. And the same spot. Because it's God tier. Okay, that's just kind of a summary of that. Okay. So they're in the same side, they have the same side, and they're kind of in the same spot. Okay. So we're saying here, from our picture, so I'll give you a second to write over. Yeah, because I gotta write it again. I take a picture of it. And I take a picture of it so you write down. Sure, I get that. Did you say no lost whale? Is it no more better? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um anyway. <laughs> yeah, take me on. Oh yeah. You're only like you're mid twenties. So it's working. Yeah, so it's working. Yeah, you're always like, I'm Boom. old, I'm Logic. old. I when am. you actually are old, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm young, and I'm no. 30. <laughs> also, Sam, also, also old. Yeah, but not old. But he is old, like my dad is baby 30. Face. My mom's a baby face. Like, my parents are in their 60s, and they both have baby faces. So. They do for a Yeah, they really do. Like, my mom, 
Oh my gosh, she looks like she's in like her like mid to late twenties or early twenties too. Really? Yeah. Incredible. People still part of my parents. And at the fair, my dad would like do IDs for something or whatever, and they were like, Oh, we thought you guys were brother and sister. I was like, I know I look old, but like we didn't we don't look like you guys are that's okay. what he said. So let's look at this picture here. So we have these eight different angles here, okay? So according to this information, we need for corresponding angles, okay? I really want us to focus on this because they're kind of on the same side of the transversal and they're in the same spot. So we have our transversal here, and we have our two lines A and B that are cut by the transversal. So if it like angle one, what other angle is on the other intersection is in the same side but has also in the same position as angle? Angle five. They're both kind of in the top left of their intersection. They're both kind of in the same spot, okay? They correspond to each other. They kind of go with each other, okay? And one's interior, five is, and one's exterior, one is, and they're on the same side of the transversal. They're both on the left side of the transversal. Okay, so would five and seven work? Um, not five and seven, but five. What? Uh, because one and five are. Wait, why were there five and seven? Because. Um, one's exterior, one's mm -hmm. interior. But are they at the same position at the intersection? This one's at the top left. Is this one at the top left? Okay. Yeah. So, seven, yep. so seven and three. Yep. Angle seven and angle three. Doesn't matter which one we list first. Seven and three. They're both at the bottom left of their intersection. Yep. Angle two and six. They're both at the top right of their intersection. <coughs> okay. And what would be our last pair? Eight and yeah. two. Angle. Four and angle eight, or angle eight and angle four. They're both at the bottom right. What? Okay. Okay. So those will be our different examples, okay? Now we're going to leave the facts column blank for a moment. We're going to come back to that later today, okay? We're going to leave the facts column blank for a moment. We're coming back to that later today, okay? Yes? I know you're talking about like old days and stuff. Of all, I watched this video. It was just, and it was like, <laughs> And they bought a mask. I have a student or like, like an old man mask. Yeah, I got some bucks and they the dressed up in like old men's clothes mm -hmm. and went to like a store and bought alcohol and like didn't get caught. Okay. Alternate into your angles. Alternate into your angles. You have two things right in this box. Two things right in this box. The first. They are both interior. Well, does that kind of make sense since the name says they're interior? No. Yes. What? That is ironic. No, it's yes. not ironic. It's planned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ironic means it's unplanned. How many do we have to right here? <laughs> Two. Okay. They're both interior and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Opposite sides of that transversal. We can add in that they're also going to be at different intersections, um, or we can also just know. So they, they're going to be at different intersections, so we don't have to write that. Okay? So based upon this information, who can tell me a pair, who wants to guess a pair of alternate interior angles? They're both interior, but they alternate sides of this transversal. Three and six. Four, okay? three and five. six. And then four and five. So angle three and angle six, as well as angle four and angle five. Okay? So they alternate sides of the transversal and it's alternate. And they alternate, they switch sides of the transversal, and they are both interior angles. Okay, and they're at different intersections. Okay. <gasps> no. The other thing, four and five do the same thing. Okay. Oh, that is wrong with your writing. You wrote a lowercase a. Y'all y'all like love to roast my own. And your B. You know, I've gone through twenty three years of my life of never hearing about my lowercase K's, and, and then this year, all of a sudden, like Every one of my classes was like, it looks bad. Your like case case look like ours. Well, yeah, because we didn't want to be mean to you when you were a first year teacher. Uh, that's but good. now, since you're second, we could just. Everybody's like, like comfortable no, with please. it. You're like, he's not going to quit now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> alternate exterior <laughs> angles. Okay, what wait, do you think can you wait one second? I wrote it in the example box. So now I'm kind of behind. Actually, I do know. So what do wait. we know? <gasps> Okay, <laughs> alternate, alternate exterior angles. What's our big difference do we think between alternate interior and alternate exterior? They're on the outside. They're on the outside, okay? So we can say that there, there are two things right here. They're both exterior. And these also 
Oh, are on opposite sides of the transversal. These also are on opposite sides of that transversal. What's up? No. I'm going to explain how to use the time. Okay. Don't so, encourage bad behavior. Ian, are you still writing these? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, well, description they're both exterior now, and they're still on opposite sides of the transversal. If we follow that word, but the name, alternate exterior angles, is pretty straightforward from there. The alternate side of the transversal, they're both exterior angles, okay? So can somebody give me an example of an alternate of a pair of alternate exterior angles here? One and eight. Okay, one and eight, very good. Angle one and angle eight. They're on opposite sides of the transversal. One's on the left, eight's on the right. They're both exterior, they're outside those two lines A and B. Okay, Jessica. Two, two and seven, very good, okay? And that, that would be it for our pair of alternate exterior angles. Two's on the right side of the transversal, seven's on the left, and they're both outside those two lines. So they alternate sides, and they are both exterior. Why well, I don't know what you did without making it up. Okay. Questions on alternate exterior angles? Okay, count to um, 30 slowly, and then you can move on. Wait! Consecutive or same side interior angles. I'm mostly going to call these same side interior angles. They can be called either, but I put them on there. But I'm really just going to mainly call them same side interior angles, okay? So oh, instead yes. of alternate interior angles, now they're same side, okay? So these are both interior. We have two things to write, they're both interior. And as well, they are on the same side of the transversal. And same side. Okay, so they're both interior, those two lines, and this time instead of alternating or being on opposite sides of the transversal, they're on the same side and same side. How are we going to remember this? The names are very straightforward, so if you remember the name, you can remember what they are, and then also give you some hand gestures that just kind of help you. I learned you wanted to read those. That's right. <laughs> you learned them on the bus, right? Yeah, yeah. He put me on the bus. Wow. Right? He's like, but here, there's two or from Matthew. But I never heard. I never seen this before. I'm like, whoa, this is pretty cool. Okay. Like this one. These are times when I both get lit. No. No. Yeah, what does it mean? Ill. Why did you this? I thought this was like rock star. It, like this. Yeah. Is rock star. Be ill. Some kids like to think you're in a funny joke. No, no but, but then when you go like that, then it's bad. No. When you go like that. I I, I thought he was being funny joke. Okay. Wait, so then I wanted to build a map. Nope, we're gonna ignore it. Okay? So, um, so give me, give me a pair of same side interior angles. Emily! I So, okay, okay, I get what you're saying, but they need to be on the same side of the transversal. Okay, five. Okay, five and three. Okay. Angle five and angle three. Four and six. Okay, and angle four and angle six. Okay? Now, guys, the reason that five and six wouldn't work is because they're alternating sides of the transversal. Okay? You need to be at the same side of the transversal. Okay, so angles five to three, as well as angles four and six. Yeah. Okay. Questions on that one? Okay, count to four. One. Three, four. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Same side exterior angles. So, these are going to be both exterior. And our second thing to write after this saying they're both exterior will be there on the same side of the transversal. I love these names in math because they're just very straightforward. We're saying, oh, what are they? They're exterior, they're on the same side. So we call them same side exterior angles. I wonder got who really got really creative. I don't know, but I, I appreciate whoever named them. No. Okay? So can somebody tell me what a pair of same side exterior angles would be here? One in seven. seven. Okay? One in seven. And Brady, do you have the other pair? Two and eight. Two and eight, very good. So angles one and angle seven, angle two and angle eight. Okay, those would be our examples of same side exterior angles. Okay. Okay. Questions on that? Catch five. Okay. 
after we count to five, okay, we're going to go oh my to be on the same on the on the page we were before. To be on the very on the second page. We're gonna go back to the second page. Okay. So we're gonna go to the bottom of the second page where we were. There's a little bit left there. So the example two, we're gonna go finish that off. Okay. You don't have to catch five in Not quick, isn't it? Okay. I'm almost done. So, my hand hurts. Um, my hand hurts. No, you yeah. never do yeah. in spring range. All of our you should get a brain All of our other teachers like give us brain 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 brain. Brain. Yeah. Jesus Christ. He like, twerk, kid, twerk, where's the whip? Where's the whip? Write it down. He takes a brain yeah. every writing period. Who? Talk. Yeah, he's like, he like, talk. We probably have like, it's not like a solid set of like five, ten minutes. We have like small little breaks all the time. We probably have like, hey guys, like, yes, well, guys. I don't know. We my socks are pink today. All right. We, we talked five about. Five times two. Okay, we talked about molds for us all like minute in there. We talked about what? Molds for us all minute in there. Molds for us all minute in there. Molds for us all minute in there. It's not illegal, it's just frowned upon when you're going to get beat up. Exactly. Okay? Finish so back. Yeah, probably. Oh okay? Name a pair of angles that fits this screen. We have this picture here. We have this picture here. Okay? I want you guys to go through, and I want you guys to stop. I want you guys to name a pair for each of these four, okay? So from this picture, I want you guys to name one pair of alternate exterior angles, one pair of consecutive interior, aka same side interior, okay? I don't look like a goblin in my last picture. No, that's what I'm talking about right now. Stop. Thank you. Okay. Hey, wait a so, minute. <laughs> okay. So, um, I want you guys to uh, name a pair of alternate exterior and go all the way through page four. You don't have to name more than one pair. Just name one pair for each of these, okay? So please do that now. Get to the, okay. <coughs> Can you check mine before I write it on the paper? Uh, sure. Actually, why don't you wait for it and I'll give it to you over the top. You know you're working on this? Did you hear Miss Jada's back? Yes. Oh. You want me to go behind you? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? When I was in uh, college, when I was a sophomore in college, um, one of my friends and I actually one of my roommates now. You told me about this thing. Did I? Yeah, you did. How about how oh. we did this on the balcony one time? Yeah, did you yeah. take pictures? Yeah, we have a video of it. It's pretty lit. How yeah. were you the man of the oh, world? Okay. I will pay you. I would love to show me that. You want to show me that video? Uh, I'll show you. Did you have your laundry day when you did it? Uh, no. Oh, Wouldn't that have been man. perfect, though? Yeah. I should have thrown on a wig. Okay. Who um, has a wig? I have two. Well, when you go from having long hair to short hair, like, when you have like, long hair, like people were like, oh, you'll probably miss it, so here's a couple wigs. So people I feel like, like wigs. no. I'm not trying to be rude, like, like, but I feel like you can definitely do drag. Like you can definitely yeah. pull off a dress and be like, oh. I pulled off a dress last year during uh, church, church, church. Yeah, wait, what would your drag name be? You're like too, like, like you don't look. Raise your hand if you have a pair of alternate oh, exterior angles. Emily, eight and two, great. <laughs> Is that the only pair that would have worked? No, we could have done one and seven. Somebody give me a pair of consecutive or same side interior angles. Okay, four and five. Is that the only pair that would have worked? No, we could have done three and six. Okay, somebody give me a pair of alternate interior angles. Okay, six and four. Six and four, great. Is that the only pair that would have worked? No, we could have done five and three. <laughs> Corresponding angles. There are four different things that could have worked. Okay, okay. Um, Alright, I heard like five different things. What? Two and three. Uh, no. <gasps> One and five. One and five could work. Four and eight could work. Two and six could work. Two and seven could work. 
Okay, one and eight could not work because they're not in the same position. So one's at the top left of this intersection, eight's at the bottom left. Because two and five. Okay, two and five, no, because two's at the top right, five's at the top left. Okay. Two and seven. Two and seven, no, those are the same side exterior. Okay, two's at the top right, seven's at the bottom right. Okay, three and seven, they're both at the bottom right. Two and six, they're both at the top right. Okay. I think it's a little confusing because two and seven are both exterior, so yep. then they collide. You know? Yeah, they just have to be like top right, top right. Okay. I also want to talk about right below in this little space. I want to use a list a pair of vertical angles. So throw back to what a pair of vertical angles are. Okay. Two and four would be an example of vertical angles. Very good, Jessica. Okay. Five and seven. Okay. Five and seven. Yeah. Okay. So the reason they're vertical angles, guys, just to recap, is they share this vertex. Okay. Vertical angles share a vertex. Their sides make those lines or an X, okay? Um, and they're opposite each other, okay? They're opposite each other. And what do we know about vertical angles? They're always 100% of the time what? Congruent. Okay? Another thing, what you write in there is a linear pair. What do you mean a linear pair? No! Okay, a linear pair are two angles that make a straight line together to be next to each other. Can somebody tell me a linear Two and three. Pair? Two and three would be an example. Lots of different examples here, okay? So they make a straight line. They're adjacent, aka they touch, okay, and share that vertex and they have 180. Okay. How do we have three lunches this year? How? Because I know, that's we so weird. Our schedules now. No. We're even not making school. Like, there's like no food in the lunch. Yeah. Yeah, like all the chicken patties, all the spicy chicken patties are gone. All the bread is gone. Yes, I know. Good thing I heard of lunch. Example three. Example three. So flip the page to example three, please, and thank you. Okay. What is a transversal in this scenario? Don't flirt. What is a transversal in this scenario? Don't flirt. Okay. So think about and write down what the transversal is in this scenario. Whether it's M, N, or R. Okay. It's line. Okay, Emily. Line R is our transversal. Very good. Okay. Now, fact in general, fact is corresponding angles are on the blank blank of the transversal. Something side. Corresponding Angry. angles are on the same side of the transversal. Yes, you are. Okay. Now, on this one, we want to list all four pairs of corresponding angles. Mason, can you give me one pair of corresponding angles? Uh, one and three. Very good. One and three. They're both the top left, okay? Uh, Casey, can you give me another pair? Okay. Colton, can you give me another pair? I'll call back immediately to Casey. Eight and six. Okay, eight and six. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Julia, can you give me another pair? Seven and five. Okay, seven and five. Okay, and Emily? Okay, those are your four pairs of corresponding angles. Yay! Right. Done. So we're gonna go through um, one last thing, and then we're gonna go through the table. Okay. So we have this postulate. We have this postulate. So right below where you're at, we have. This, uh, I'll try to. So, corresponding angles postulate. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the resulting corresponding angles, the resulting corresponding, ooh, that was really bad. The resulting corresponding angles. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So, how did that go, by the way? Where did it go? Yeah. Oh, I mean, everyone did that too. What? I mean, the second round of puberty is a little faster, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the resulting corresponding angles are congruent. So, we've had two lines cut by a transversal. Now we're saying those two lines are parallel, meaning they don't intersect. Okay. So, I can show that lines M and N here. If you don't have this line, that's okay. I'm not asking you to have this line. I'm asking you to follow along with your eyes. It's hard work, man. Okay. If M and N are parallel, we can draw that arrow on there to say they're parallel. 
Okay? We're saying corresponding angles are going to be congruent. Now, we don't know this angle. I'm going to just give this angle a measure. I'm going to give angle one a measure. Okay? I'm not pulling this from anywhere except for just my head randomly. Okay? I'm going to say this is 130 degrees. Okay? Stop. I'm going to say this is 130 degrees. What other angle would we automatically know according to this corresponding angles postulate? What would be congruent? Angle five, because they're corresponding angles. So angle five has to be congruent, and so it has to be 130 degrees. Okay, you don't have anywhere to write it. Oh. It's just an on the board again. Okay. So if angle one is 130 degrees, angle five must be as well. Okay. Would we also could we also know angle four? Yeah. How? Because it's a vertical angle. They're vertical angles, so it's congruent. Could we also know angle eight? How? Corresponding to four or it's vertical with five. Either way, it has to be congruent. It has to be 150 degrees. There's two ways you could have known that. Okay? Are there any other angles we could know just based on that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are there any any other angles we could know? Uh, Minus 130 is one angle. Okay. For which one? Right. Angle two. Angle two and angle one make a linear pair, meaning they add up to 180. Okay. Angle two and angle one make like linear pair, meaning to add up to 180. So meaning to add up to 180. Okay. So two must be 50 degrees. And so what else has to be 50? Six and seven. Okay. Three, six, and seven. Three because it's vertical angles with two. Six because it's corresponding with two, or it's a linear pair of five, or it's a linear pair of eight. There's lots of different ways. Seven has to be, because it's vertical with six, corresponding with three, and it's a linear pair of five and eight. Holy cow, there's a lot of ways you can know these, okay? So all because we knew these two lines were parallel, and we knew this one angle, we were able to find all the others. We just because, um, so all because we knew this one angle, and we knew that the corresponding angles were parallel, we were able to know all of these things, okay? So we're going to go back to the fact that we finish our table quickly here, okay? So we said corresponding angles, the fact about them, and this is only true, it's only true I need to write facts when, uh, uh, where am I at? Okay. Um, facts when two lines are parallel. This fact is true only when two lines are parallel. Okay? These facts are true when two lines are parallel. So we're going to go on our table. At the um, top of the fact column, we're going to put Why when two lines are that? parallel. Um, because it's saying this is for all of them alone. So for all the facts, this is true only when the two lines are parallel. Otherwise, it's not true. Kennedy Miller and Shaylin Rao. Okay. So he said corresponding angles are what when the two lines are parallel? Congruent, very good. So we're going to draw the congruent symbol. That's it. Okay. That's it for the box. Okay. So then let's go back to the picture real quick before we look at alternate interior. Okay. If you look at alternate interior angles three and six, what do you notice about these angles? They're both interior. They're congruent. What about four and five or other pair of alternate interior? They're congruent as well. So let's go to alternate interior. And the facts when those two lines are parallel, they're congruent too. When the two lines are parallel, they're congruent too. Okay. Let's look at alternate exterior. If we go back to the picture, let's look at a pair of alternate exterior angles, two and seven. What do we notice about angles two and angle seven? They're ex exterior. Alternate exterior, and they are what because these two lines are parallel? Congruent. Congruent. What do we notice about angle one and angle eight? They're both parallel. They're both 130. They're both congruent as well. Okay? So alternate exterior angles are also both congruent. Okay? So we have consecutive alternate interior and alternate exterior are all congruent when the two lines are parallel. Okay? For same side interior angles, if you look at a pair of same side interior angles like 3 and 5, what do you notice about them? They're not congruent, but do we notice something special about 130 and 50? They equal 180. They equal 180. So what do we call that if they add to 180? Supplementary. And what do you notice about four and six? Are they supplementary too? Yeah. So our same side interior angles are supplementary. Our same side interior angles are supplementary when those lines are parallel. Okay? And last but not least, the last thing we'll write down today. Okay, the last thing we'll write down today. Is same side exterior angles like two and eight. What do you notice about them? 
Supplementary. One and seven? Supplementary as well. We did a lot of them today. So the, the reason for that was it makes the uh, the next section a little bit shorter for us. Okay, and so that way we get more work time next time because we don't have any homework today. Yeah.